From the pages of MikeHuckabee.com, your oasis of sanity and truth, far away from the virus lab of fake news, let's take another look back at the week that was. And you may know that my insights and hot takes on all the news of the day can be beamed right to your email inbox, and it's always, always absolutely free. All you got to do is sign up for my newsletter at MikeHuckabee.com. Wednesday's news gave new meaning to the term Fauci ouchy. The Washington Post and BuzzFeed actually did some journalism, if you can believe that. That's when they reported on thousands of Dr. Anthony Fauci's emails that they obtained through Freedom of Information Act requests. Now those emails are shedding some light on the origins of the coronavirus, and they shattered the saintly aura that the media have built up around Dr. Fauci about like a hammer through a stained glass window. I'm sure it pained the Washington Post and BuzzFeed to have to report all this because it means that the people they denigrated, dismissed, and censored as wild-eyed conspiracy theorists for the last year, including President Trump, by the way, are now looking correct on pretty much all counts. Here's the biggest stunner from those emails. Credible scientists told Fauci early on that the virus appeared bioengineered and likely came from a lab. And Fauci took actions to kill that story. It would have been embarrassing, at least if the public knew of the revered media darling uh, in the doctor's role in promoting dangerous what's called gain-of-function research in China, which is what happens when you make viruses more transmittable to humans. Now, that's something he allegedly lied about under oath just a few weeks ago. Dr. Fauci, do you still support funding of the NIH funding of the lab in Wuhan? Senator Paul, with all due respect, you are entire, entirely and completely incorrect that the NIH has not ever and does not now fund gain-of-function research in the Wuhan Institute of Do they fund Dr. Barrick? Oops. Well, Senator Rand Paul, who endured death threats from the Fauci cult after that exchange, tweeted the most distinct response to the torrent of email revelations. Here's what he said. Two words. Told you. Fauci later told the House Appropriations Subcommittee that, okay, funds from the National Institutes of Health, which Fauci runs, were indeed given to the Wuhan lab through Echo Health Alliance to support a modest collaboration with very respectable Chinese scientists who were world experts on coronavirus. Well, that modest collaboration with very respectable Chinese scientists could very well have unleashed a pandemic on the world that's killed millions of people. Not a lot that's modest or respectable about any of that. Also in Fauci's emails, he was in regular contact with Facebook billionaire Mark Zuckerberg about setting up a Facebook information hub that would squelch disinformation. Well, we now know that includes things like the possible Wuhan lab origins of the virus that were not disinformation, simply inconvenient to the officially approved narrative at the time. Stephen Green at PJ Media points out that Zuckerberg was emailing Fauci about messaging ideas while giving $400 million, that's right, $400 million to an organization to get out the vote in key Democrat battleground districts and to deplatform people who complained about it. Now think about that. Green writes this, he says, you don't have to be paranoid to see an information controlling data hoovering social media giant working in cahoots with public health bureaucracy to both shape a narrative and to unseat a sitting president. That's scary stuff. All right, on to the Twitterverse and Breitbart writer John Hayward's great thread that starts like this, quote, the true bloody and brutal story of Antifa, abolish the police and Black Lives Matter is following exactly the same trajectory as the Wuhan lab leak story. The truth was dismissed as a conspiracy theory and ruthlessly suppressed until it could no longer be ignored. With both the coronavirus origin and urban unrest stories, the media ran like a witless herd, easily manipulated by small groups of bad sources with big megaphones, easily stampeded away from listening to the icky people who happened to be telling the truth. 
end of quote. And in case you missed it, the worst ad ever, well, I tweeted this, Nike released this new ad to let you know how horrible you are because you don't watch the WNBA. Well, maybe W stands for woke NBA and people just don't want to watch that. By the way, if you missed it, here's the ad for your viewing displeasure. Guilt, it's an interesting strategy to boost ratings. I'm just not sure it's going to work. Well, on to this week's Shame on You. President Joe Biden, who is never one to miss an opportunity to stoke racial division and make utterly bizarre claims. The data shows young black entrepreneurs are just as capable of succeeding given the chance as white entrepreneurs are. But they don't have lawyers. They don't have, they, they, they don't have accountants but they have great ideas. Does anyone doubt this whole nation would be better off from the investments those people make? And I promise you, that's why I set up the National Small Business Administration that's much broader, because they're gonna get those loans. Apparently, black entrepreneurs don't have lawyers or accountants. I mean, who knew that? By the way, the five wealthiest black billionaires in America have a combined net worth of $22.7 billion. I'm willing to bet a couple of hundred of them have a lawyer or an accountant, maybe even both. Finally, here's a shout out to a good dad and his daughter, both pushing back on toxic, immoral, un-American critical race theory. Daddy teaches you can be anything in this world that you want to be, right? Don't daddy teach you that? Yeah, and it doesn't matter if, if you're black or white or any color. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, brown, yellow. yellow right? Black. And, and how we treat people is based on who yeah. they are and not and what color nice. they are. And if they're nice and smart. See, this is, how, this is how children think right here. Critical race theory wants to end that. Not with my children. It's not going to happen. My baby's going to know that no matter what she wants to be in life, all she has to do is work hard and she can become that. Work hard even though you don't know anyone. You can make friends. <laughs> a great message and a breath of fresh air that we so desperately need in the woke smog these days. Well, until next time, these have been the facts of the matter. Now, if you're seeing this, I know you've enjoyed that video. I mean, how could you not after all? So you know what you should do? Leave a like, click on the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell next to it so you'll always know when I have another video up for you to enjoy.